Huh? Rabbits. Rabbits, yep. Yeah. You're feeding the rabbits. How's the rabbit go? Look at Papa. How's the rabbit go? Look up here. What's this rabbit's name? See? See? Guys, we named, that's Kelly, but we named our rabbit A, B, and C. What are they? Tell everybody. What's our rabbit's name? <laughs> oh, right here. What's this? A. And what's this? B. And what's this? C. A, B, and C. That's our rabbit names. Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Cold Boy's Little Homestead. Glad to see you stop in. Today, Blake, my little buck rabbit, has got some ear mites. And I'm going to show you all how you can doctor and treat the ear mites in your rabbits. Take a little syringe. You can take mineral oil or olive oil, really any kind of cooking oil, but here I got an olive oil I had on hand today. And I put a couple of drops of Ivermec wormer, and that's a Ivermec's a, a wormer for farm animals. And I put a couple of drops in this little holder here. This is finger paint but I saved the little containers so you can do stuff like this with them. And I put a couple drops of Ivermec in that olive oil and we're gonna get Blake out of the cage here and show y'all what it looks like when ear mites get in your rabbit's ears. He's got a pretty bad case of it. So I'm gonna get him out and I'm gonna wrap him up in this towel here so he won't be scratching and kicking me. So he ain't gonna like this going in his ears. Come here, Blake. Come here, Blake. Now Blake here ain't never been wrapped in a towel. He ain't never had no treatment. I'm gonna try to show y'all. See down in his ear? His ear mites make it scab over and puss up down in there. But it's good to, you see he gets kicking they got sharp toenails. I'm gonna wrap him up here in this towel and then I'll get y'all a camera down here where y'all can see. Alright, we got him wrapped in the towel. And I'm gonna take this little syringe and I'm gonna drop this down in there and he may go to kicking when I do this. He ain't too bad. It might feel good to him. I'm going to put just a little bit more to start out with. This will be his first treatment. But you want to do this. Once your rabbits get ear mites like this, you want to do this every day. For a week week to five to seven days. And they make stuff that you can put in your rabbit's ears that's sold for that. But if you catch this early, you can just use your oils put it in there every day. You need to take care of them severe case. He got a pretty severe case here, so I'm using the Ivermec a couple drops put in there. Let me try to show y'all again. Look close what his ear looked like. See this side here is scabbed up pretty good. Look 
But he done pretty good for that tree. He knows, he knows Papa trying to help him out here. He did well. Looks like he's about to go to sleep laying here. But I'm gonna put him back in the cage and I'm gonna get one of the Gwen or Kelly out and look in their ear and see what they look like. Might go and put a drop in there. But just like this here just showed up overnight. And I'm sure they were down in there yesterday. Probably down deeper reading I didn't notice it. But it's like overnight they just showed up bad. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay, girl. It's all right. Well, we're gonna check Wynn's ears out. Looks like she may have just a start in one ear, so I'm gonna go on and doctor both ears. She didn't like that in her ear. She's shaking. Yeah, if you ain't been watching my videos, these are American Blue Rabbits. I chose American Blues because I love their history and Trying to grow them and keep them from going extinct. They're still on the less critical list, but they're making a comeback. Come here, come here, easy, easy. It's all right. It's all right. Hold on. Now Kelly's ears, I don't see none in. But I'm still gonna put just a little bit in there today. I may not treat her tomorrow or the next day just because I don't see none in there. But ear mites are spread. And that's why I want to go on and put a little bit in her ears. It don't hurt. It don't hurt them at all. Pretty girls. She's a pretty girl, ain't she? Alright guys, I know this is a short little video, but I just want to show you how you can treat your ear mites in your rabbits. Like I said, mineral oil, olive oil, any kind of cooking oil. If I'd have had the mineral oil, I'd have went with the mineral oil on Blake. As bad as he is, I'd have probably went with the mineral oil with the Ivermec wormer drops in there. Like I said, the ivory makes a worm, a wormer for cattle, and actually that there, my vet dilutes down, and we use on our dogs and stuff, but it has to be diluted down. But it works good for your ear mites on your rabbits. But anyway, guys, I hope this helps someone out. Try to keep your cages clean. That's a good 
don't don't leave no straw, wet straw and stuff in your cages. That'll help keep the ear mites down. But it's common. It's very common with rabbits to have ear mites. So it ain't no big. Don't go panicking when you rabbits get ear mites. It's just a normal thing. Just doctor them, stay on top of them. Like I said, I have to doctor him every day for about a week, seven days, and he'll be all right. All right, guys, this is two days. I'm just giving y'all an update, and this is gonna be a clip of, on the second day. And this is Blake's ears to, in only two days, you can see the difference. It's amazing the difference in just two days. Now, I see a lot of videos where people start out cleaning them rabbits' ears out and stuff, pulling them scabs and all that skin, and it causes their ears to bleed and all that. And you can see that there's no sense in doing that and running the risk of getting them ears infected by pulling them scabs off. When you put that oil in there, it'll make that skin start turning loose on its own. And I just wanted to show y'all an update. And like I said, this is just the second day after I started. I'll continue doing this once a day. All right, guys, this is day five of treating Blake my American Blue Rabbit for these ear mics. And as I was showing y'all earlier, I just mixed olive oil and a few drops of Ivermec. And that's diluted Ivermec. I don't know exactly what the vet diluted, but he diluted that down. And that's what we use the worm dogs with. And we use one tenth of a cc for like a 20 pound dog. So I don't I don't know how he's got it diluted, but I put a couple of drops of that into my olive oil. And I'm gonna show y'all what it did to these rabbits. It's no no ear mites, no skin left in there. And I seen people on YouTube starting out and they pull that scalp and all off. Now, I don't see no sense in doing that cause that makes them bleed and all that. And I'm telling you, when I put that oil in here, the, the very next day that scalp was, old skin and scalp and stuff was turning loose. The second day I just took my finger and it just rubbed right off. And you can see how it cleared him up. So anyway, guys, I just wanted to give y'all an update of the final of, so you can see the treatment of what I did and exactly what the outcome was. So thanks for watching. If you like these little videos, please give me a big thumbs up, subscribe, share my videos, help me grow this YouTube channel. It'll be greatly appreciated. God bless. Y'all have a great day. And I'll see y'all next time.